At least nine illegally convicted Ukrainians were taken from the occupied Crimea to Russian regions. This was reported by the Ukrainian media project Grate. According to journalists, convicts for anti-war positions were sent from the peninsula to Russian colonies, as well as Crimean Tatars, activists of Crimean Solidarity, who helped Crimeans who were persecuted for political and religious reasons. Human rights activist Server Mustafaev was transferred to the Tambov region and the owner of the Crimean Tatar ethnocenter Salachik Marlen Asanov to Mordovia. Civic journalist Siran Saliev and father of 13 children Server Zikiriaev are now being held in Russian colonies in the Tula region. Activist Mehmet Belalov was taken to Novgorod and Timur Ibrahimov to Ryazan region. The head of a religious community from the Bakhchisarai district, Adam Smilov, is imprisoned on the territory of a colony in the Kostroma region. Emil Kurbidinov, advocate in a comment for the media project Grati. Russian invaders illegally deport Ukrainian activists, journalists, volunteers from the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine to the annexed Crimea and then to Russia, human rights activists report. Some are being held in the Simferopol pre-trial detention center. Recently, the Federal Security Service even opened a new pre-trial detention center for this. It is called Pre-Trial Detention Center No. 2. We know that it is designed for about 450 people, and at least we have already found 110 people there, who are now being held. These are people from the Kherson and the Parisia regions. Including there is the mayor of Gola Pristan, Oleksandr Babich. There are representatives of local authorities. Human rights activists say that soon the illegally detained Ukrainians are going to be sent to Russia. Because some of them are charged under terrorist articles, and such cases are heard only on the territory of the Russian Federation by a military court. Therefore, these people are taken to Rostov. Several have already been taken out, and in the future we see that others will be taken to the territory of Russia. Volodymyr Zelensky instructed the representation of the president of Ukraine in the Autonomous Republic of Crimea to develop draft laws to protect the rights of Ukrainian citizens in the temporarily occupied territories. The representation is also working on new initiatives to support the indigenous peoples of Ukraine and increase sanctions pressure on Russia. In particular, this concerns falsified accusations against the Crimean Tatars and the inhabitants of the peninsula. It is obvious that all our political prisoners who are in places of captivity due to falsified accusation from the occupiers, with sentences of the occupation courts will be released even without a review of their cases. Currently, at least 155 citizens of Ukraine have been arrested and convicted in occupied Crimea. They are kept on the peninsula or in the Russian Federation. 109 political prisoners are Crimean Tatars. We're talking about the absolutely absurd accusations of terrorism leveled against Crimean Tatar activists, including Seyran Saliev, Server Mustafaev, Emir Hussein Kuku, Servet Gaziev, and dozens of others. Tamila Tasheva, permanent representative of the President of Ukraine in the Autonomous Republic of Crimea in the column for Ukrainska Pravda. According to the Commissioner of the Verkhovna Rada of Ukraine for Human Rights, since the beginning of the full-scale invasion, the Russian occupiers have illegally deported 46 southern residents of Ukraine from the occupied territories to Crimea and Russia. More than 8,000 of them are children. The real number of kidnapped could be much higher, human rights activists admit. We recorded several cases of the deportation of children from the Kherson region, including the city of Kherson, while it was occupied. For example, in Yevpatoria, local residents told us that they had taken their children away. And according to the stories of the children, these were even those children who were separated from their parents, as they complained and constantly asked to be taken to their parents. Ukraine is also working on consolidating international support. Thus, the UN General Assembly adopted a resolution on human rights in the occupied Crimea, which was supported by 82 states. The document contains new facts of gross violations of human rights by the Russian occupation authorities in Crimea in the context of full-scale Russian aggression. The updated document also expands the application of the resolution to all temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. Reported by Roman Smoller, Vlada Tsurkan, UATV News.